bus. Hi! <laughs> Click here to subscribe! <laughs> oh. Hank, please don't jump rope in the classroom! Kitty, I'm not jumping rope, I'm reading a book! Oh, hey. What's happening? Stay calm, listen to the teacher's directions, and be careful. Please keep it in mind, everyone! What are we going to play? Um, how about playing tag? Good. Then I'm going to catch you first. Yeah. <laughs> Strangers all the time. Who are you? <laughs> Little kid, come with me. Have some lollipops. No! Our teacher oh. told us not to take anything from strangers. <laughs> Miss Baby, there's a strange man here! <laughs> Good job, everybody. When you see a stranger around here, tell your teacher immediately. Okay, we'll protect ourselves. Kids, please remember to protect yourselves too. Earthquake safety tips. It's an earthquake! The house is 
around me might fall. I will run toward an open area. Danger ahead! Stay in an open area until it's over. <laughs> Is it an earthquake? What do we do now? Staying by the window is dangerous. The glass will cut you. Anywhere else? If you're hiding by the door, the door may fall on you. Hiding under the desk can help us avoid falling objects. The earthquake has stopped. Let's run to the playground. Yes, ma'am. Please help everyone find the way out. Follow us. Thank you so much. Come with us. Thank you. in here I hear someone time to use my whistle to let them know I'm here don't be scared I will get you out <laughs> good now everyone is safe earthquake safety tips hello I'm Kiki become firefighters and help people in danger. Fire engine, help 
you see whose house is on fire? Yes, it's Whisker's house. Let's go save him. Fire, fire, someone shouts. I'm a brave firefighter. Getting up the aerial ladder. Here comes the fire engine. Help me, help me, someone shouts. I'm a brave firefighter. Calm down, calm down, follow me. Let's get out of here. Wow! Today, Kiki and Mew Mew became brave firefighters. Let's give them medals! <laughs> Yay! Hmm. Hmm. It's the third floor! Good. I'll go buy some toys. <laughs> Hurry up, Dad! Coming! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Dad, can we play over there? Hmm? Sure, but don't run around. I'll come for you after a while, okay? Yes! <laughs> Bye! Bye, Bye sir! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello there, little kids. I have tasty candy here. Sweet and tart, so tasty. Come try everyone. Mom and Dad always say, when a stranger comes to you, never eat anything that he gives to you. Mom and Dad always say, when a stranger comes to you, never eat anything that he gives to you. I never eat what a stranger gives to me. Hello there, little kids. I have many toy cars here. Big tires are rolling round. Come play, everyone. Mom and Dad always say, when a stranger comes to you, never take anything that he gives to you. Mom and Dad always say, when a stranger comes to you, never take anything that he gives to you. I never take what a stranger gives to me. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Ho-ho! Oh, you made a wonderful toy train! <laughs> Thank you! Where's my daddy? Today is Rudolph's birthday. <laughs> It's an important day. Rudolph said to his dad, Mr. Fu. I'm a big boy starting from today. I can pick my own present. <laughs> Mr. Fu promised Rudolph that he could choose his own present. Early that morning, Rudolph went to the supermarket with Mr. Fu. He hummed cheerfully while walking. La la la, let's buy some presents. Wonderful presents! Rudolph was so happy that he jumped around in the market. Mr. Fu said to him, Rudolph, stay close to me or you might get lost. I got it! I'm a big boy! The market was huge! It was full of yummy food and fun toys. Rudolph saw an amazing monster truck. It could even transform. He said out loud, 
A monster truck! I want it! <laughs> Rudolph was excited and ran to the monster truck. He took it and said, oh, Aren't these wheels big and awesome, Daddy? Daddy? Oh, Daddy! Uh-oh! Where was Mr. Fu? Rudolph looked left and right. Oh, there he was. Rudolph ran to him and clung to his leg. Daddy, I found the present I want. But it was a stranger. He turned around and said to Rudolph, <laughs> Are you looking for your dad, little boy? Huh? That wasn't Mr. Fu. Rudolph let go of the man's leg and ran away. There were so many people at the market. All he could see were strangers. Soon, he was really lost. <laughs> Suddenly, Kiki, who had happened to come to the market, saw Rudolph crying alone. He raced over and asked, Hi, Rudolph. What happened? I can't find my daddy. <laughs> Don't worry, Rudolph. We have Dudu, the magic bus. He knows everything. After Kiki comforted Rudolph, he chanted the spell. Baby bus, two, two, two. Little magic, shine, shine, shine. When Kiki chanted the spell, a rainbow appeared. The magic bus came all the way from the rainbow bridge. Ta da! I'm Dudu! Here I come! Huh? What happened, Kiki? Dudu, Rudolph can't find his dad! What can we do? Don't worry, there are lots of ways. First, when you get lost, never run around. Just stay right where you are and wait. Hearing this, Rudolph was a little embarrassed. He said, But I've gone too far away. <sighs> then there's another way. We should go ask a supermarket staff for help. Let's go. Rudolph, Kiki, and Dudu went searching for a supermarket staff. After a while, they found a cashier at the counter. The cashier said to Rudolph, Rudolph, can you tell me your dad's phone number? I'll call him. Um, well, um, what? What? Oh, I can't remember it now. Rudolph was so worried that he forgot Mr. Fu's number. Seeing Rudolph's disappointed face, Dudu said quickly, Don't worry, there's another way. We can go to the announcer's booth and ask the announcer to help us find your dad. Hearing this, Rudolph was still worried because he had no idea where the announcer's booth was. <gasps> then he saw a man in uniform at the help desk. Rudolph approached him and asked, Sir, can you take us to the announcer's booth, please? Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> they found a beautiful lady at the announcer's booth. Rudolph said, Ma'am, I can't find my dad. Can you help me find him? <laughs> of course. The announcer began speaking over the microphone. Mr. Fu! Mr. Fu! Your son is waiting for you at the announcer's booth! Mr. Fu! Mr. Fu! Your son is waiting for you at the announcer's booth! Soon after, Mr. Fu rushed into the booth all sweaty. He called out to Rudolph. Rudolph! Daddy, Daddy, I finally found you! <laughs> Rudolph found his dad. And then they kept on shopping for the presents. This time, Rudolph held Mr. Fu's hand tightly because he didn't want to get lost again. Wait! 
On the street. Keep an eye on the traffic light when you cross the street. Traffic light? Follow me. Let's cross this street, oh my friend. E -a -e -a -yo. Walk hand in hand with an adult. E -a -e -a -yo. See the traffic light, the red light's on. Never go, never go, never cross the street now. Stop. Careful at all times. Let's cross this street, oh my friends. E -I -E -I -O. Walk hand in hand with an adult. E -I -E -I -O. See the traffic light, the green light's on. Check your left, check your right, no cars coming. Go stop at red and go at green. E -I -E -I -O. Let's cross. Street, oh my friends, E I E I O. Walk hand in hand with an adult, E I E I O. See the traffic light, the red light's on. Never go, never go, never cross the street now. Stop at red and go at green, E I E I O. the slide now. <laughs> you don't have to. You can ride the slide right now. Mm -hmm. It won't take long. If you line up, everyone can have fun together. Don't line up. Let me tell you why you have to line up. Line up! 
Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs>